Hello everyone, this is Johannes and this is Cinema and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings and today we're taking a look at our top 10 board game designers yes, it's kind of a different list because yeah. there's no games here just names for people who make games no games, just names <laughs> yeah, like the name game, the game name the game, something like that so just wanted to sh really quickly say that the way we pick these top 10 lists is basically that we come up with some suggestions we put them on our the community tab I think it's called in English uh, on our YouTube channel and you can vote over them so if you haven't seen that go and check that out once in a while also I think if you click the bell button you will get that on your store page yes and when we're there please subscribe to our channel if you are new here and if you want to support us more you can check out our patreon page which will be in the description of this video so with that out of the way let's not talk about that so designers designers so yes. we're going to actually talk about some games here as well probably because will it they have made some games yeah like these this guy, people this guy has never made a game in his life but it's just so good at designing them like doesn't make sense. <laughs> so the way like I thought about this list, uh, well, one thing we have done in this video, which will be very different, is yeah. that we have decided to make a joint list, like a list together, yeah. because we were pretty sure that the list would be almost identical, and they were almost they were. identical. Yeah. So we have made a, a joint Tom Tell list, basically, instead of going everything being a crossover basically yeah that's true so so i'm also, sorry no crossover dances for you today or basically or everyone is yeah. a crossover dance but you yeah. won't get a dance every time maybe at yeah. the end if we are up for it look at the end but people can just skip <laughs> it's not it's not the way it works with radio so top 10 designers the way that i looked at it and i think we kind of looked at it the same way is that these are designers that have made really great game that we have enjoyed yes and also designers that when they make a new game we hear about someone making a new game and it's one of these designers people will be like "Ooh, looking at that yeah or absolutely. i will be because you don't look at yeah. new games <laughs> yeah but uh, that's that's true because you do a lot more research uh -huh. than i do and then also when you say i've looked at this game uh -huh. it's by this designer um that that tells me something. Yeah, it usually tells me nothing, but in some cases, designers like make me also a little pumped for games. Yeah, these are kind of like designers which will not always be like insta buy or insta back, whatever you want to call it. Like, this. but insta checking out. Yeah, and most of these designers will probably be designers I will pick up almost every game from. Yeah. With a, maybe a couple of exceptions, all of these probably will. I'm gonna go buy all of their games. Yeah, and some if, have made like a lot of games, and uh -huh. some made few, and yes. some of them we like almost every game, and uh -huh. some we don't like every game. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, we we we're not gonna use like so much time, like maybe a bit, bit, bit here and there, but it's like yeah mostly talking about the games they made like it, there's not going to be like oh this game he made 15 games to like that way it's number two so it's going to be more like the, the feeling and the style of games and yeah probably none of these are going to go come as shocks to you if you haven't joined our channel but if this is still like one of the first top tens you see and anyways we hope that they are it's an interesting list yeah because we hope so. um yeah we we hope so yeah. So should we begin? Yeah, let's dive into it. Because it's important to spend half the video talking about the video before we do the video. Yes. Welcome to Board Gaming Ramblings. Rambling. That's how we roll. Yay. So, you can do number 10. Uh, R. 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 Like it's like a, a seal. R. Oh, or a pirate, a pirate seal. Like R. 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 Our number 10 is Daniel Tassini. Yes. And he's done some great games. Yeah. Um, some of them he's done alone and also together with people. With and people. With people. It's like a spoiler, like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's done some amazing games together with Simone Luciani. Yeah. But he's done one especially that I want to mention that he's done all by himself. And that's, all uh, by himself. That's uh, Teotihuacan. Khan. The city of guns and that is a really great uh, wait a minute it's a it's a rondo, a rondo action yeah movement, action worker placement game with cool dice things, and, dice things. Yes. and people dying and getting born again and getting bonuses to build a pyramid yeah so it's one of those uh, kind of games if you Euro like those game. kind of games uh, like with those kind of genres but, and that's the one he's done like uh, alone. Yeah, and also Tris Magistus is for good. Yeah, it was true. only top 20, mm -hmm. I think, or was it all? It was almost, I think it was top 20. I think it was barely in my top 20. Yes. If I don't remember correctly, because it was a very good game. It had some like 
problems with the, the publishment of that yes. game. Yes. But I really enjoy his games. Most of his games, like he done with, with Simone Luciani, like Sokin and uh, uh, Marco Polo, which are really, really nice games. And But the reason he's here for me uh, is that he's one of the ones that I, I will get the next one he's doing with Board and Dice this year. The, I think it's an Egyptian theme. I don't remember the, the name because it's another one that's hard to pronounce, but which is the thing they do. Yes. But I, I really like. I will be looking for his games. Yes, yeah, it's a familiar name now mm -hmm. that he's done so many games that I like, and uh, yeah, I will definitely check it out next time he is making a game. He's also made some games that I'm not that fond of, like um, Council of Four was okay it's a good game um, i like it so it's not like insta buy for me we do have it i think we still have it maybe yeah somewhere in the somewhere in the collection board games yes should i do number nine yeah let's do it number nine is a guy called or, or, yeah most people mm -hmm. most designers are guys mm -hmm. basically yeah. sadly There's some good good women like inca and uh, Sophia Wagner and Elizabeth Hargrave, I think is the name of the woman who made Wingspan. Yeah, I think so. Yes. She's coming with a good game this year, which looks nice. Of cool. course, it's good, but it looks nice, but that's a digression. So, <laughs> number nine is a guy. And people are like, oh, which one can it be? Wow. Like, I think it's this one. I know it's him <laughs> now. <laughs> it is Martin Wallace. Yeah, that's a guy. That's right. It is. You it's got that really part nice, right. really nice guy. He's done uh, some games. He's made, he made so many games. Yeah, he and, has. And the reason he is this low is basically because he has made some very, very good games and he made some games that I have no interest in whatsoever. Yeah. Could you mention those you have no interest in whatsoever? He made some board games. Yeah, that's true. Uh, he did. Which are the ones I'm like not that interested in. That's and true. Also, he made like some okay games. Like he made a MOA game that we, we played. Yeah, it was okay. Like so he made some of like his lighter games aren't my favorites. But then he made some of my favorite games of all time. Brass Birmingham, Brass Lancashire, Age of Steam. He made Steam, which is good. He did make Age of Steam, even though he's not credited. Uh, let's not get into that debate. But, it's uh, a connection. Yeah, he, yes. he is there. And, and I really him. like Via Nebula. It's like a lighter introduction to his train games. I yeah. really like that he's done that. A root building game with yes. Steam. I also really like... Australia. Yes. Which is a weird... Weird game. If you haven't played it, I think we did a review, didn't we? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Maybe. Check a review. Yes. If you didn't do a review, check another review because Australia is a great, cool, super strange game, which is kind of like feels like a classical Martin Walls game. Like it has a randomness and strangeness of the the Cthulhu thing yes. with rails and trains. And, and also resources. really cool like action selection thing yeah, with really some awesome. cubes. Uh, great game. Great game. So that's usually why this is this, this slow. He has made some great games, but it's not. He is one I will always be looking for as well. Absolutely, but not an insta buy for me. Absolutely no, not. No, I have to because check a bit deeper. Yeah, because he's doing some genres that we're not mm -hmm. that into. Yes. Number uh, eight. Number eight is oh names. Yes, this is a cheat. No. No, it doesn't no, it, feel like it. No, it isn't. It's it's a duo. Mm -hmm. It's a Nuno. Centiniero and Polo Soledad. Yeah. And they've made uh, Madeira mm -hmm. and Nippon. Nippon. And did they also do Signori? No. No, they didn't. They did uh, Panamax. Yeah, they did. With Stronghold. Yes. So and also the, the, the Portuguese, I don't remember the name of that company. It's with an M, I think. And we love Madeira and Nippon. Yeah. And we think those two are like, a, a, yeah, a winning team. They, we, yeah. we wish they made some more games, though. We they would have think we two would... games in the pay pipeline, which might come this year. We also it's not pipeline. They, <laughs> we also thought they would be coming last year. So maybe it's coming in 10 years. It's Brazil and artificial intelligence. Switch. Yeah, I remember I heard about Brazil. Yeah, like if. If we get to play that at LeriaCon, I'm gonna be happy. Uh, maybe we will because they will—they are the people who run that con, and hopefully they're gonna bring a prototype or something that I we can play and, and, <laughs> and look at. And maybe if we are allowed to actually film it and, and show it to you, that would be yeah. Awesome. Like if I would I like the most important for me egocentrically is to play it. If I'm not allowed to film it, I'll be okay. But okay. I just want to play this. Uh, but yeah, they make like Nippon and Madeira are super super good games. My favorite poster game games. Yeah. And um, so meaty, so different, feels super, super good. And they get some minus points for me, uh, some negative points, because they made three, three games. Um, so uh, you have to make more. You have to make more games. Because Go so make more games. games. Uh, so there is not like, it's hard for us to 
I have other designers that have made five games, and I like two of the those. Mm -hmm. But here are like both of their yeah, two of their three games. I have only played Panamax. I like Panamax once. quite a lot. It, yeah. It's a good game, but I don't remember everything about mm -hmm. it. Uh, so they, I, I it, it's hard to put them that highly. I think. Yeah. Because but, of that. But they're always like, these are the ones I will be super excited for when they put up new games. Yes. Because I made so few and they're very, very good. Yeah. yeah. So seven, it's my turn now. It's your turn. I get an easy name to pronounce. It's Michael Kiesling. Yes. He has made many, many games. And many, many, many games. Mostly notably for, for like the masses is Azul and Azul and Azul. <laughs> uh, Azul, uh, like in the third, like three Azul games. Like I remember the first time we went to Essen, I think he had five games. Four or five games, I remember four of them. I think there might have been five. Which was Azul. It was Reworld he did with uh, with Kramer, Wolfgang Kramer, uh, which he has made quite a few games with. We haven't yes. played many of them. We played that and Porta Negra. We haven't played some of the older ones, which we have heard been really good. Yes, we, we have to, to do that. Played. He also had Riverboat and Heaven and Ale, which are two of my favorite games. Yes. Super good games. Came out, they have some similarities, but are really different. Uh, and he's also one that I'm looking out for. Like he's always, he has made some really solid games. Like Azul is, we just played it yesterday actually. Oh, it's Azul a, again. such a great gateway. I feel like it's I'm like kind of, perfect. I feel like I will play it basically. Like I'm seeing all of the, the strategies and feel like I would rather play some of the other Azul games. But uh, he has made some very, very good games and always one I will be looking for. Yeah, I agree. And do you want to add for Kisling? Uh, I need to look more out for him, I think. Yeah, because, yeah, because uh, last year actually there were two games at Spiel which I didn't pick up or we didn't pick up. I didn't. I didn't it's your responsibility. It's my job to make the list and they weren't on the I list. I blame you. I should have searched Michael Kisling. So this, this year I'm going to have more designers. I'm going to just search and check out if they have anything. Yes. That we should but he's check putting out. out a lot of games, and yeah. most of them we really enjoy. Yeah, he's like have a good track record, basically. Yeah, I think so. He's not like one of those people like uh, who put out six hundred games and five of them are good. Yeah, that's true. But, so we have some really good games. That is Michael Gisling. And our number six is then Alban Weird. He's Monster doing heavy games. some crunchy heavy games. We <sighs> recently got Clinic, oh, uh, yeah. which hurts. So much. Oh, yeah, we does. really love small, small city. city? Uh, it was on our uh, top uh, heavy games heavy uh, list. Games. Check it out if you haven't. That is uh, that is also an excellent game. Uh -huh. He's also done some some others like uh, Card City XL, uh, Town really Center. Like. I really like. I'm not like that big of on that. I, I'm. <laughs> we, we disagree. Oh yeah, um, that's, that's the one. You that's disagree, the, that's yeah. the thing you meant <laughs> to say. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, I'm really pumped for he when he, when I hear that he's got a new game. Uh -huh. Um, I want to check it out because he's. Uh, I really like his games, although they are are killing me. I really like it. And and basically, he, I I really enjoy that he has gotten kind of a bigger. Uh, fan base now like because heavy games have always been like a niche in, in, in the niche of board gaming mm. but I feel like he's gotten more of a uh, people know who he is like Clinic now like the Clinic Deluxe I, I feel like when he started making the games he made them by hand in his garage and made like two copies <laughs> like Town Center version of uh, one we had which is just cubes and rules is fourth edition so first edition must have been like some scrap he found in his pocket mm -hmm. and just this is the first edition. He used Legos. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but, 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 but they have made some very, very good games, some interesting mechanisms, some really different designs, and I really enjoy his, his games. Yeah, I agree. And I will always... He's almost like an Insta back. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm probably not going to get like a new version of Small City. I think it's coming because I have Small City and it's really good. Yeah. But I might... We will see how my wallet feels that day. I'm not happy about that. <laughs> I know you're not, but I am the one who goes to Stop Kickstarter. Stop it! Yeah, that's that's a negative thing with like leaving you in charge of that. <laughs> it's a, sometimes games just appear and you're like, "What is this?" I'm like, uh, <laughs> "We got a new game today. What is that?" Kickstarter. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, that is Alban. We are. Yes. Number five is another guy. It's a guy who kind of was part of a duo back in the days, but. Now they're not anymore, and I, I, this is actually one of the things I would have loved to know why. Because they made some really good games together. Yeah. And we had the other one on the list already, so that was Daniela Tacchini, so this is Simone Luciani. 
he's made some really great games yeah, that we really like. Some good games together with people as well afterwards. Yeah, that's They true. did work together now on the uh, basically updated version of Marco Polo, Marco Polo 2. They're mm. both credited there. I... Yeah, I don't really know what happened there. No, yeah, we can just like start guessing, yeah, but I don't, I don't see like why we should be doing that. Because I am pretty sure, if I don't remember cor mis correctly, uh, mis correctly, if I don't remember wrong, then the first pictures of the Tieto Atom box had their both of their names. Oh, it did? I, I'm, I think they did, but then hmm. one of them disappeared. I, I might be wrong, and it might have been another game, but I'm pretty sure there was a game where both of the names were on it, and then one of them disappeared, like That's in the next, conspiracy. in the next one. Um, yeah, I don't know why they stopped working together, or maybe they are working together on games that might happen. Like they are working That's on true. a game that might be, but they That's brought true. us Salkin and Marco Polo together, and some older Grand ones. Grand Oster Hotel. No, that was Virginia Gigli. And, um, but Simone and yeah, Luciani. Simone Luciani don't yeah. that. I'm sorry. He also, he also did Newton. Like we would, the reason Simone is here so much higher is that he did Grand Oster yes. Hotel, Newton, uh, Lorenzo il Magnifico. Yes. The uh, he did Barrage. Yeah, he did, like, he did. So many great games together with other people. Some of them and alone on other ones. But he has some, a huge track record than Daniel Fasini has That's had true. on his own after they made games together and that's the reason he's here yeah because there are they have been or are a great team they've yeah. made some great games together but simone has also like uh, made a lot of other games that we really enjoy as well so amazing euro games he's done some great work okay so that's number five yes my number or our or number yes. four it's going quicker when we're doing lists together yeah that's true it's uh, probably not going to be something we'll do all the time but if you enjoy this let yeah, us know please in the comments, let us know. like if you like this better, we might do it sometimes. It, but it, it won't work every time because no. here we have really uh, similar opinions. Yes. That that's why it's work. I've already we've already like disagree on some placements yeah, yeah. in this list, but not that much that mm -hmm. it really matters. matters. Yeah, it would be strange yeah. to make two different lists, but yeah. Please, anyways, let us know what you think about this in the comments. More so, comments. number four, we have already talked about, I'm just kidding, uh, <laughs> it's Alexander Pfister. Uh -huh. And he's uh, done some great games, really, really love Grand, uh, great, great Western Trail. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mombasa is also a really great Very game. I'd love to play it more. Yeah, we have to. And also, the, in 2019, he did uh, Maracaibo. Which was our number one. Yes, yeah, so we enjoy that, obviously. Uh, well, he's also like done... What was I thinking about? Sky. The, uh, yeah, I love Sky. I really enjoyed that as well. He did Broom Service, which was okay. Yeah, absolutely. He also did like the smaller games, which uh, he did the uh, Port Royale, which was really nice. Yeah. The is Push Your Luck game. Is that him? Yes. Huh. I so, did not know. One of the reasons I really like him is that he is that he's doing these small games like Port Royale. He did Oh My Goods. He did uh, the uh, Thai Board I Biomaster. Uh, all of these games he did the these with like an the 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 oh my goods have no like have three expansions with a campaign he did expedition to newdale which will get be getting a review in a couple of weeks which was chosen by the patrons to do a review later this month we haven't played it yet but we need to play it quite a while now before we 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 get it reviewed in a couple of and weeks and it's time. a it's a nice excuse to get that game played. yeah because we haven't had time to play it after essen uh, but other than that, yeah, he made Broom Service, which was I enjoyed when I got it. Yes. Uh, not an amazing game, but a really good game. He just makes solid games. Uh, Blackout Hong Kong, we only played once. Yeah, that's we need true. To play we that again. need to play that again as well. Uh, but yeah, absolutely. Some of his like greatest work is our, one of our favorite games. So mm -hmm. he, yeah, I really like him. Absolutely. Uh, I like his games. I don't know. I haven't met the guy. So. No, we would love to meet him, but we like his games. Yeah. Number three is... Mr. Vitala Sura. Yeah. We just got on Mars. He has almost like a flawless track record for me. Almost. Uh, without escape plan, which didn't really enjoy that much. Uh, other than that, love Lisboa. Love Vinos. Think the gallerist is good. Haven't played it enough, like because we didn't understand it's it. Need so to play hard. More. Oh my. Yeah. And he has done Kanban, which we need to play more. Been haven't played it in many years. CO2, which is really different and really good. Yeah. He's just making these crunchy and very thematic Euro games. Like, I usually don't care about the theme, but Vital is so good at making the theme make sense and, and making a game around the theme, which is really, really nice. Yeah, I really enjoy uh, that 
he's hurting my brain so much and he's really thought through like uh-huh. the why you're doing stuff and mm-hmm. he explains it really thoroughly but it's also like even though he he kind of starts with the theme right yeah, I think and then so, he yeah. bases like the the game around that mm-hmm. but it doesn't doesn't seem that way in a negative Wait, mm-hmm. do you know? Yeah, absolutely. Because it doesn't seem forced. No, and, not at all. And it, it is really like the game shines even without the theme there. Mm-hmm. It's, they're really strong and I really enjoy Lisboa. That is like one of my favorite games. Of all time! So like... Watch out next easily, month. Top 50 games of all time. Yeah. Next month on this channel. So easily like almost an insta buy for me, I think. Yeah, he's gonna be he's, he's, he's kind of an insta back. Yeah. We didn't get the new CO2 because we have the original and it yeah. works fine. I am my pledge finger is going like this to put a new Kanban because it looks really <laughs> nice and it gives me an excuse to actually play the game more. Uh, we do have the original one, but I think this one has made some great changes to both of the the layout and some of the rules which have been made streamlined and better i think um, we have like a deal on that if we can get the old version of kanban played and we enjoyed that then you can back the new one we'll see what happens oh my god <laughs> look for us on twitter like when i say hey, look what i have appeared and it's a new game uh, uh, i we'll probably see. will be happy anyways you probably but yeah. will it's gonna be like a present for you no, no, <laughs> that's not okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah, with all so that makes the heaviest, greatest Euro games for me, like some of the greatest, heaviest Euro games. Yeah, I agree. But yeah, he's doing something amazing. So yes. let's go to number, number two. two. He's even more amazing. I'm just kidding. Uh, he's amazing too. And it's uh, Mr. Yumi Rosenberg. Mr. I, I like that we thought of that. Like this is Mr. Vitalis. Mr. Vitalis, Mr. not Mr. Yumi Rosenberg. Yumi Rosenberg, he's, yeah. He's done, uh, he started with, Mom, uh, no, I'm just kidding, Bonanza. <laughs> he started with Mombasa, Bonanza. <laughs> Bonanza. Bonanza. The b- little bean game. And I think actually that was the first game I, I, I played from him because we had it at home. You had it at home? I think so. Oh yeah, and a lot of people play this. This was really cool. Like, this was the one that most people have heard about. This was almost, for me, when I talked about games, this was almost as usual that people have heard about than Katana and Ticket to Ride. People were like, oh, that's the Bean game. Yeah. Like, people knew the Bean game. They didn't remember the name of it, but they had played the Bean game. The yellow box with the beans. It's a cool little trading game, uh, but but that's not the reason why it's on this list. It's a good Is game, it? but it... My it's my favorite game. Rosenberg game is Bonanza. <laughs> but yeah, he has made some fantastic games. Yeah, I really like uh, Atel Gets All Young. It's one of my favorites of his. Uh-huh. Also, uh, Fish for Odin is really, really great worker placement game. Like with all of the action spaces mm. you ever dreamed of. And all of the negative points to everyone. Yes. <laughs> and some more. And also, his more like famous ones like uh, Agricola, Le Havre, uh, uh, Caverna. I was about to say Carcassonne. I'm just like, nope. He didn't not do that. that one. Nope. <laughs> but also like that he's doing something like completely different uh-huh. with these lighter games. Yeah. Like, um, I really enjoy Patchwork. It's was, great. Was the first like Tetrimino game mm-hmm. he did. Mm-hmm. And then it's just just like poo exploded yeah, and like that for a, while. a lot more uh-huh. and now like the latest nova luna was a little different again it was very nice i yeah. like it quite a bit he's done something like he's done so many different things mm-hmm. he's got a hang up for like feeding your workers feeding. and harvesting stuff and also tetraminos mm-hmm. but other than that you you can't ask for much more of him actually no one actually he made some really nice lighter games and some really nice heavier games yes and that's pretty cool that he has like may, maybe like he if i felt it like when he was in my top 10 heavy games no he wasn't actually because he was in your top 10 heavy yes. games with Feast for Odin. Because um, Feast for Odin is too light for you. No, it wasn't too light for me because it's one of my favorite games of all time. But it wasn't heavy enough to be in the top 10 heavy games. Yeah, it's too light for you. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. But yeah, love Ever Rosenberg. We'll, we'll always look at games from him. We got almost, I think we got all of his new games at Spiel this year as well. Like he, he is always one that I will look for. Like we, yeah, and I love those things that he starts for new Publishers like he goes from for these small publishers that he might know somebody in like oh I'm gonna design a, you can have this game 
Because he's designed yeah, so true. many games. Like he did Nova Luna this year, which he did, or oh, what is the game name of that company? But it's the same company that did Cottage Garden and all of that, which Cottage Garden was their first game, which I didn't like, but I like the other ones in that trilogy. Mm. So we like he's helping new publishers starting out, and I really like that. I really like that as well, because he knows that he's a name that people <laughs> yeah. will recognize, and then he's he's using that to like boost these smaller companies. I, I think that's really great. Awesome. Yeah. Number one, then. Number one. Number one. So, number one, then. That shouldn't really come as a surprise if you know our tastes and you see, like, he hasn't been on this list anymore. Because it is a he again. It is Stefan Feld. Yeah, that's no shock to anyone, no, I think. No, but basically, like, the only one, the only game we have talked about from him in a while is Costa Burgundy. So, is people it? might yeah. not know that we love his other games. Like, yeah. But, but, but we do. We like most of his games. Again, Castle Burgundy was the game that got us into more of the uh, that kind of thing. So that is, will all he will always have a special place in my heart, on my table, and on the shelves. Yeah, that's true. But he's made some like he is like this dry Euro, no theme, uh, but the a lot of, of points. I love it. Uh, uh, many point salad guy, but mm -hmm. he's done so many like different mechanisms in this types of games. Uh -huh. So I really like, yeah, Colossus of Burgundy, they will be my like favorite. Mm -hmm. Trajan is one of his like heavier games. We did actually a top 10 seven fell game a little while back, so you can go and check that out as well. Did we do that? Yeah, we yeah, did we one did. live actually last year. Because you can go I, and see that. Because when I, I made, when, when, when we made this list now, uh -huh. I'm just like, we should do one of those. Yeah, we already, but we did. already did. We're not going to do that in, before like maybe 10 years when he had made many more games. Yeah, so if you want to actually see like why we mm. like him as a designer and which guys, which games. guys, which games you should really look out for, that, yeah. yeah, you watch that video. Because he isn't one who has made like only great games. He has some games I don't like, like Bruges, Merlin, yeah, Amerigo, uh, Jorvik. All of these games are not games I really Notre enjoy. Dame, we need to play again. Yeah, I only played once and you play that more. But he has, and he has some okay games like Strasbourg, uh, but he then has some great, great games. Trajan, Bora Bora, uh, The Cost of Burgundy. He has, I'm looking over there. I really I'm, like Carpe Diem. Carpe Diem is really good. Forum Trajan was really good. Yeah. He's making some really, really nice games. And he will be, always be one that I will be looking for. And always be one. He will have a special place in my heart. Because probably you wouldn't be watching this channel if it wasn't for Stefan Fell. Yeah, yeah, that's actually true. Yeah. That, that is a little weird to think of. And, fun fact, I'm pretty sure this is correct. I just read it on Twitter. Do, do you know what he does for a living? No. He's a principal for a school. Oh, he looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> and he also acts in community theater. No, he does. I'm pretty sure, yeah. But because you're, you're like, you're, you check these facts really thoroughly. No, you read it on, some guy on Twitter. Twitter. Ah, so yay. Twitter. Better yes. than Reddit. Perfect. You should do like an essay on that or I something. I will. My essay. Stefan Feld, a game designer and actor. <laughs> Known for such films as Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. Wait, what? <laughs> Just saying stuff now. But yeah, that's number one. Yeah. Anything you want to add about Mr. Feld? Uh, go check out his games. Yeah, if you haven't played them, and also check out the top 10 list if you want to check out which games to check yeah, out. Yeah, do first. that. Yeah, absolutely. So, but that's the end. That's the end. Okay, cool. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. And I'm Sonoma. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings, and bye bye.